Abut. My grandfather lived here until he passed. My father has grown up here. Uh, and uh, this is uh, a reminder for me as well of a time when the town was vibrant, when it was a, uh, a place where people came and grew up together. Coriopolis has been a town where people pass through uh, for a couple of decades now. And we think that it really should be a place where people can, can come and stay and eat together and visit together and learn about each other. And so our sense of what's possible for this town is that it becomes uh, a community in the sense of a place where people gather and uh, they know their neighbors and uh, they recover some of what they knew 30 or 40 years ago. One of the exciting things about this project for me is that its real value isn't restricted to the final product the building but the process of getting there is very significant as we call local people in the community and and also students from the Robert Morris University campus to come down engage the fabric of this community engage in their life begin to build relationships and tie these two communities together the first phase has been to encourage people to believe that this is possible so we've been spending a lot of time painting the vision asking people to um, to come alongside of us. Uh, second phase is fundraising, and uh, we're in the process of that now. We expect that uh, we'll have some grants coming soon. And as soon as that comes in, then we begin actual construction on the building. The primary thing that needs done immediately is the roof needs to be completely replaced. Uh, it, there's holes in it. It's been open to the weather for probably a decade now. We'll need to get that done first, buttress up some of the walls, then all of the floors need to be taken out, floor joists replaced where they've been dry rotted. Uh, the work is significant. One of the uses that this station was uh, utilized for after it was a train station, a passenger station, was as an auto parts store. And that meant there were some modifications on the building that we're going to need to bring uh, retrofit back to its original uh, state. So we'll need to take some doors out, replace some of the original structures of the windows. And uh, one of Richardson's trademarks was a little eye window made of stained glass. It's in the top of the roof and it uh, needs to be completely rebuilt and replaced. But we hope to do that as well. Pittsburgh has a really vibrant uh, preservation community and as we've gotten out and networked with people and told them about this project, the response has been incredible. People are very excited and they're knowledgeable people, architects, engineers, historians, and uh, they've just come together and given us a, a wealth of feedback. We expect that we're going to need somewhere between $500,000 and $750,000, but we hope that uh, a good portion of that will be, uh, will be covered in volunteer labor. So we may be able to knock that down to maybe 300, 400,000. The value of the station isn't restricted just to the memories of the older residents. As important as that is, we do want to honor the past, but we also want to serve the present. And so for young people, this becomes a place that they can own, that can be a part of their own identity, that's not specifically related to what has gone on in the past. We wanted to do something that would be of value to the town. We wanted to serve the town. And uh, so we thought the best way to do that would be to, to uh, set up a foundation that would be geared to serving the town in a number of different channels, one of which is community making. And uh, the idea is that where people can gather and begin to meet people who aren't like them and discuss and dream together and plan for the future, then that's how community grows. That's how hope grows. And uh, this station just presented itself as the best opportunity for a, a project like that.